My name is Eric. I'm KC8VWL and I'm with Universal Radio uh, and today we're really excited to uh, get you guys a chance to take a look at Yesu's new FT991. This is one of the first color TFT touch screens that's made it into the amateur radio market. It's got a really beautiful display on it uh, that shows you a lot of great information. Coverage on this is 160 through 6 meters. You got 2 meters in 440. You've got 100 watts on HF and then 50 watts on both the 2 meters and the 440 band. The cornerstone of what this radio is is their floating 32-bit IF level DSP. Same technology used in their FT3000 and their FT1200. That's trickled down into this much more compact base rig. And the added VHF and UHF coverage really makes this a, a very versatile radio on what it's going to be able to cover. It's got modes set up for doing AM, sideband, CW, uh, dedicated modes for doing data work like PSK and uh, RIDI. There's so many different features on this radio, it's going to be hard to get into them all. But uh, Yesu did a really phenomenal job. It's a very versatile sized radio. They, they actually make a mobile bracket for this. It's capable of driving Yesu's ATOS 120 antenna. So it can be mobile mounted and worked even though it's a little bit large. It's going to give you a lot of capabilities for use out in the field and is, is a really solid base station at home. I really like the ergonomics of the radio. Uh, you still got a very large tuning knob. And using the touch screen to navigate through your bands and through your functions are very, very easy. This radio I was able to sit down and just start playing around with. And, and if you're used to working some other radios, uh, it's fairly intuitive and easy to use, which I was surprised for as much as this can do. One of the other things I, I do want to mention is this radio also on the 2 meter and 440 band can use Yesu's new C4FM digital mode which is going to give you very clean audio, very nice sound on, on digital voice mode. One of the most impressive things about this rig is uh, some of the advanced IF filters that are in this. You can adjust your IF width, you can adjust your shifts, your contours, you've got an adjustable notch filter, um, and then separately you've got audio level uh, filters that can be employed for each different mode. So you can set up specific filters for CW or sideband operation or data work. And with the capabilities of today's more modern receivers, uh, it's really advanced operation that's going to offer great performance, uh, even on crowded bands and, and noisy band conditions. There's an internal auto tuner that's built into this that covers 160 through 6 meters, which is going to give you even more versatility when you're using it, whether it's out in the field or with a lot of antennas that are out there nowadays. I wanted to show you guys uh, the rear panel on this just to show you some of the connections. You can see here on the back the chassis on this is one big piece of aluminum. Uh, it's got a fan on the back that's going to help draw air through the radio to keep it cool. You've got a, uh, an HF connection that covers 160 through 6 meters. Uh, that's the side the antenna tuner is connected to. And then you've got a side for your 2 meter and your 440 band. So you're going to have a, uh, the ability to connect up two different antenna systems for what you need to use. You've got separate jacks on the back now for external speakers, um, your data outs. Also, there's uh, both a serial port and a USB port that's on the back for connecting to uh, either a GPS for doing the uh, APRS and position locating, and the USB port, which is going to be great because uh, it's going to be very easy to get this interface with a computer uh, for a lot of the software control that's out there nowadays, and, and logging software is going to be easy. I wanted to talk a little bit about the way the scope works on this on the bottom of the screen. There's two modes that you can put it in. Uh, you can view it as a small waterfall display or you can view it as a, a standard scope screen that's going to show the activity. The sweep button that's on the touch screen will always refresh the image of the scope. Notice that when you do that it does mute the audio. Uh, it's only got one receiver in the radio so we can either run the scope live or listen to the audio. It can't do both. But it does have an automatic scope function that's really neat, uh, that if you find yourself tuning around looking for activity, as you start tuning faster on the dial, this scope will mute the audio and you can start tuning to where you see signals on the scope, which uh, I think is a really nice feature and, and it does it very fluidly. And these scope features work really well both on HF and in the VHF and UHF range. So they, they did a very good job with this. Please check back on our website for the most current information. And that's www.universal, 
www.radio.com.